Welcome to the Louisiana Ecological Forestry Center. Also known as the Leaf Center, this property includes the famous Hodges Gardens. The property is approximately 4,600 acres and is owned by the A.J. and Nona Trigg Hodges Foundation, set up in the 1950s by Mr. A.J. Hodges. As Mr. A.J. and Ms. Nona were developing the property and building this garden, they realized what a jewel that they had, so they opened Hodges Gardens as a park brought tourism from all over the world to Sabine Parish. The foundation operated the park for nearly 50 years and then made a decision to give it to the state in 2007. While the state was operating the park, the foundation decided to adopt an ecological forestry model for this property. This is similar to Mr. AJ's original efforts and they would operate the forest around it for a diverse wildlife habitat and a sustainable forest. The state operated the park for about 10 years and the foundation made the difficult and unfortunate decision to close the park and operate the forest as a more sustainable model. Mr. AJ was a pioneer in forestry, did not like to see the land barren. So now we have a way to develop a diverse wildlife habitat and a sustainable forest. It's not a new mission, it's a mission renewed. We have three main focal points here at the Leaf Center. We restored a longleaf pine ecosystem, we enhanced the wildlife habitat, and we look for opportunities for conservation education. Longleaf pine ecosystem is a great choice for wildlife habitat. We get to grow a great timber product while still growing this beautiful herbaceous environment. We get to develop property for the Louisiana pine snake, red cockaded woodpecker, the northern bobwhite, and a whole host of other game and non-game species. When we conduct forest operations in a track like this, we leave as many longleaf pine as we can behind. Where there's a need, we'll come back and we'll replant with more longleaf seedlings we can come back and have a different planting scenario for each stand. And as we do this and we bounce around the property doing forest operations in different areas, we'll actually have a very diverse landscape with a dominant longleaf pine system. The second main focal point of the Leaf Center is enhancement of the wildlife habitat. So you can see we're doing prescribed burning today. Uh, it's the cheapest, quickest way we can create a habitat for all wildlife. So we may burn over a thousand acres a year, every year 15 to 20 burns. And we do this by jumping around in parcels, very similar to the way we do forest operations. Some of the other ways that we do enhancement of the wildlife habitat could be mulching. We could do herbiciding. We can do just simply bush hogging using the smallest equipment we have. So there's all kind of ways to create a habitat uh, and co-mingle that habitat together. It might be just a wildlife edge. It could be the edge of this road. Uh, we log next to the roads and then we turn around and burn that. We may have to herbicide to get the woody brush out of it. And then later on we get it to where we can actually bush hog it and maintain it in a grassy herbaceous area. Third main focal point at the Leaf Center is conservation education. Take this stand for example. We have a mature stand that has a red cockaded woodpecker habitat in it, a recruitment site. They've logged it with a new wildlife edge. We then had to come in here and mulch it and mow it, and we've had herbicide applications. We're trying to develop this stand for a better red cockaded woodpecker habitat, and also quail. We actually have quail existing in this stand. Across the road, we have silver pasture that we're developing. We're gonna be planting this year that we plan on having cows in. Next to it, we have what we're gonna do, just a regular timber stand planting with longleaf pine and have just something more common you would see in a timber production scenario. And at the end of this road, next to that, we're gonna have a pollinator area where we will plant native wildflowers, uh, produce a couple acres of pollinator habitat. So we look at these different scenarios and we put them all together with our extensive road system. We'll be able to have field days and bring private landowners in here with other professionals and show them the way that we're doing things. And they can take ideas back to their land and see what best fits their scenario and apply it to more landscape in a different location. The facilities are great for hosting workshops. We have a beautiful lodge that can seat 50 people, sleep 44, has a full service kitchen, and bathrooms with multiple showers. We are excited about what the Leaf Center has to offer. We're gonna continue this journey that Mr. A.J. Hodges started, building a unique place to come and learn while building a diverse habitat for clean water and healthy wildlife.